This is Bob Davis 321. This is my 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight cube. This time it's running off of the uh, circuit board that's part of the kit. Uh, observing a serious problem, you can see it right there. See it again. It's not very bright. In fact, it's rather dim, especially if the entire layer is lit. It's extremely dim. And it's a design flaw. What the flaw is, is normally you should have a resistor on each LED leg. That's 64 resistors. And then for the common cathode, you should have a uh, ULN2003 or other high power driver that can deliver a lot of current. But instead, the resistors are on the common cathode. That causes uh, a situation where the more LEDs are lit, the dimmer it gets for that layer. But anyhow, it is working. You just have to turn off the lights. Well, in fact, when I first turned it on, I didn't think it was working. It was so dim, I thought, oh, it's not working. And I watched it a while, I was like, oh, yeah, they're there, they're just dim. But anyways, there it is, the third arrangement of the LED 8x8x8 by eight by eight cube. And uh, as far as what's coming up, though, over here we have the first layer of the RGB cube. One layer done. And as you can see, it's a whole lot brighter because it's done properly. But there's a funny goof every now and then on the uh, RGB cube, it changes color while the rain's going down. I don't know why it could change color. There, I just saw one change color as it went down. But anyhow, I see there's just one LED on the 8x8x8 cube. It's pretty bright. It's not until it lights up a whole layer that it goes really dim. So anyways, that's the latest progress on the LED cubes. I have one layer of the RGB done so far.